station putting local first. You're watching Studio 9. Good evening and welcome to Studio 9. I'm your host, Patricia Myasek. And this week we're focused on keeping El Paso fit. For years, the Sun City has gotten a bad rap for being one of the fattest cities in the country. But one local event has been working to transform that image for the last five years. Live Fit El Paso is one of the largest sports expos in the Southwest. Organizers say they're focused on changing the city's unhealthy reputation. From fitness to nutrition and martial arts, you can find it all here at this event. And every year, Live Fit El Paso just keeps getting bigger and better. Okay, I'm here with one of the key organizers, Lizzie Martinez. Hi, Lizzie. Hi. Okay, every year, Live Fit gets bigger and bigger. Tell me why it's so important to have events like this. Well, it's so important because there's nothing like this in the area. El Paso's kind of known for being an unfit, yes. maybe kind of overweight city, and we're just not like that. There's so much to do. It's such a big city. There's so much fitness. It just isn't showcased anywhere around here. Um, if you're going to go to something like this, you usually go to Dallas, you usually go yes. to Phoenix, and people would always be like, oh, I'm going to Phoenix for this or L.A. No, like, we can do it here. We have the resources. We have amazing weather yes. year-round, you know, so it's like the perfect place to have an event like this, and we can really just showcase El Paso. But the cool thing is we have people coming in from out of town, so we're bringing in tourism to El Paso as well with this event. That is awesome. Now, tell me some of the events that you're showcasing here in the areas of fitness, because it's very diverse. Yes, definitely. So we have the Supplement Express Bodybuilding Show, so that's, you know, the big bodybuilders, bikini girls, all of that. Uh, then we just added a high school wrestling tournament that's this awesome. year. We also have powerlifting, CrossFit, Jiu-Jitsu, Karate, did I name them all? Did I get them? There's six live sporting events, so we have them going on throughout the day all at different times, and um, people can just come in and out. They bring their family and friends, and then we have over 56 vendors here, so you can walk around the booths, get some cool shorts, get some food, all the different stuff. And so. the vendors incorporates from food to fitness, even fashion yes. involving fitness. It is a big event. Well, all of the vendors yeah. don't have to do with fitness. We have, a, you know, different vendors from all over El Paso um, and from out of town. So it doesn't necessarily have to be about fitness, but most of them are. And we have, like, the healthy food so that you can go and get your healthy food yeah. throughout the day and all that good stuff. And you mentioned, like, El Paso gets a bad rap in the borderland for being a fat city. But it's not, and we're changing that. And, yeah. and and talk about why it's important to highlight and showcase events like this and all the areas for fitness and health here in the community. Well, it's so important because, for example, let's say you have a nephew that's competing in the bodybuilding show. The whole family comes out and sees it. They all get motivated. Yeah. They spread it into the family. So the family's all been motivated to get fit. They can go to the vendors, learn more about how they can eat healthy, learn more about, you know, just the health and fitness scene. And I just think it's so important that we become a healthy city all together so that we can thrive, especially in a time that we're going through a tragedy and stuff yeah. like that. It's just important to have something positive to bring us all together and just work towards a healthy city. As an outlet. And you also have kids events. Now, this starts yes. with young people, too. It's not just adults. And it's important to get them involved in fitness. Yes. Tell me about that. Uh, the karate is one of the largest kids events. We actually have kids coming in from South America. Wow from all over the world to compete in this karate tournament because it's a national tournament. So it's a really big deal for them. They come from all over and the kids, they're just so cute. They're having so much fun, you know, to be showcased on a stage in front of their family. All the hard work that they've been putting in, they get to show it off here. It is a great event. We can hear all the excitement behind us. You're going to see more of what they're showcasing here. Stay with us on Studio 9. Thanks so much, Lizzie. Thank you. which is just one of the martial arts that's being featured here today. Tell me about the competition. So this is probably one of the biggest ones we have in El Paso locally. Um, like you said, there's a lot of other martial arts here. There's karate, there's wrestling, there's ourselves, jiu-jitsu. Um, and it's really awesome to be here. Like I said, there's a lot of competition. There's a lot of girls to go against. So it's really cool to have something this big in El Paso. What is jiu-jitsu? Explain it to us, for those of us who don't know. So like you said, jiu-jitsu is a martial art. Um, in essence, it's a self-defense martial art, and it's pretty much a way for the smaller guy to be able to control and, and um, beat the bigger guy. So it's not about strength, it's not about uh, muscle, it's more about technique, knowing how to use your
your body, momentum, stuff like that. So when you get on the mat, how do you win? What is it you need to try to do to win a, win, uh, to win a, a match? Okay, so uh, Desert Jiu-Jitsu is a submission tournament only. So for this tournament, you would need to have a submission in order to win. So like an arm bar, a choke, uh, a bunch of different submissions you can do in the sport. And tell me how competing in something like Jiu-Jitsu and martial arts translates into life and really just health and fitness. Yeah, so you can do it as a sport um, in a competition, uh, you know, setting. But really, like I said, it's self-defense. So just knowing Jiu-Jitsu in general can really help you, you know, if you're ever in a tough spot as a woman. Um, and it's a great way to work out, to exercise, really using your mind, exercising your brain and your uh, body as well. It helps to build confidence as well, right? That just calmness and confidence. Yeah, so that's a big uh, also pro of jiu-jitsu where it really helps you feel more confident about yourself, your body, um, what you're able to do. So it really is a confident builder for adults, women, children as well. And you're seeing, like you were saying, women out getting into this, the martial arts competition, that hand-to-hand, -hand, that grappling, and kids as well. I mean, talk about that, like really it's becoming more mainstream. Yeah, so jiu-jitsu is really, really growing. Um, the UFC has a lot to do with it. It's like a sport that everyone really needs to know to be a part of MMA, UFC, stuff like that. Um, it's a popular sport among kids uh, because of bullying and stuff like that. It's a popular sport for women just to feel more empowered and more confident. Uh, it's definitely growing. You definitely see like a, a growth in the community of people that are involved in jiu-jitsu. And it's awesome that we're featuring it here at Live Fit and here in El Paso as well, right? Correct, yeah. All right, well, good luck today. We're going to be watching. Thanks so much, Paola. Thank you so much. From Live Fit El Paso, there's still so much more to come on Studio 9, including the ins and outs of two big events here at the Expo, bodybuilding and powerlifting. I'm Jeff Gannett, CEO of Macy's. Your Macy's store has been given a fresh look, and you are at the heart of it. Because you want more of what you love about Macy's. You want fashion that inspires you. Help finding the perfect look, or the perfect gift. You want an experience that is more fun and more convenient. We're doing it all because Macy's is committed to our customers. And we're here to help find the remarkable you. At Subaru El Paso. During the Subaru A Lot to Love event, get our biggest savings across the lot. Drive the new 2019 Subaru Outback Limited and save with 0% APR for 36 months. Or a new 2019 Subaru WRX and drive with 1.9% APR for 72 months. Both with complimentary maintenance included. Fall in love with a new Subaru from Subaru El Paso. And Airway Boulevard and Montana Avenue. Subaru El Paso. The key to your new Tropicana home will open more than just a door. It will open a new chapter in your life for you and your loved ones. Awarded 2018's Real Texas Builder, Volume Builder of the Year, Tropicana Homes provides move-in ready floor plans designed with the Tropicana Homes tradition of quality. Building strong foundations to last generations in nine communities throughout El Paso. Visit TropicanaHomes.com today. You wouldn't accept an incomplete job from anyone else. Why accept it from your allergy pills? Most pills don't finish the job because they don't relieve nasal congestion. Flonase Sensimist is different. It relieves all your worst symptoms, including nasal congestion, which most pills don't. It's more complete allergy relief, and all from a gentle mist you can barely feel. Flonase Sensimist helps block six key inflammatory substances. Most pills only block one, and six is greater than one. Flonase Sensimist. Studio 9 sponsored by Tropicana Homes, building homes in the El Paso area for more than 69 years. Tropicana has been recognized locally and across the state multiple times as the best builder of the year and best developer of the year. There are nine Tropicana communities currently serving the El Paso area. Find out more about Tropicana on our website at ktsm.com and click on the Studio 9 tab.
I'm here with Shane Martinez, owner of Sun City Athletic Club. You're also a bodybuilder. Talk about the competition here today that we're seeing at the event. Okay, so this is an NPC bodybuilding show, right? NPC bodybuilding show um, includes bodybuilding, physique, classic physique, women's bodybuilding, women's physique. So it's a bunch of um, competitors that are just dieting hardcore. Um, some of my clients ask me, what's bodybuilding, you know? Bodybuilding, I tell them, it's basically home-cooked meals, Monday through Sunday, for four months. Whoever can hack it the most is the person that's gonna win. You know, you take those, le those level of extreme dieting to create a final result. So I've been doing this for 18 years, and back in the days, it wasn't as mainstream as it is right now. And if you know, we both know that health and fitness has been exploding. Yes. So it's more acceptable. Yes. And now these shows are just getting huge. Like before, I remember it was about 30 competitors. Yes. Now there's over 100 and something, 200 at some shows, uh, especially with the women. Yes. Women aren't scared to work out anymore. Women used to be like, no, I don't want to work out. Afraid of lifting weights yes. is so true. And now yes. they love muscle. Yes. It's kind of it's changed that mindset, and it's right? it's amazing. I love it, yeah. And why is it important to have shows like this locally? Because before, people used to have to travel out of town. Even when you started, yes. like, there was no support. And now yeah. you have the, the fitness part of it, but the coaching, the diet. I mean, and events like this help to promote that. Yes, you know what? Um, thankfully that we've been getting social media, so Instagram and all that's been helping us promote the sport a lot. Back in the days, we had to just go by who's doing what, now we have the internet, you know, so now we get more instructional. That's why I feel like it's exploding now because people now have like a plan of action now. And they understand that this is another aspect of bodybuilding and it is hardcore. I mean, it's it requires athleticism, building and toning and sculpting. Yes. So where do the competitors that, that start here go? So what you want to do is compete at a local show like this one. Get your feet wet. After this, the top two places or top five places qualify for nationals. And nationals is always held in a big city like Las Vegas, or Miami or Pittsburgh so once you qualify only the top of the US get to go over there and compete against themselves and whoever wins becomes a pro tell me how that mentality has shifted we talked about women getting more involved yes. even 10 15 years ago they like we were saying they didn't yeah. want muscle everybody yeah. was into just aerobics but now you're seeing these women competitions and even the women trainers globally yes. really explode everybody wanting to get into it tell me why I just feel like people have had an awakening this past couple of years that you know, we have to take care of ourselves. Um, women are already seeing that that's just a bunch of myths that they've been growing up with. Yes. And um, just more acceptable now. I remember that when there was a buff girl, people would be like looking at her like all weird. And now they're like, wow, I look, love your body. Amazing, it's true. You know? I'm one of those. When yes. I see a girl with muscles, I'm like, oh, yes. I love it. I love it. It's admirable, you know? It is so awesome. It's awesome for the athletes that are here competing. We're going to be showing them here on Studio 9. Thanks so much, Shane. Thank you so we much. appreciate it. Thanks. Once you start training, 
I'm focusing on what your body can do rather than what it looks like, the body's going to come anyway. Yeah. You know, you're training for these three big lifts, you're having a good workout, so you're still going to be gaining muscle and getting a better physique. And last, tell me why competitions like these are important locally to really grow the sport and focus on health and just living a, a, a fit life. Well, I mean, if if the community comes together, as we've seen, you know, recently with the past events, you can just see this strength that grows, and it doesn't start uh, from big. You know, it starts in your home, and then you know you go out and you do something, and then it just grows from there. So it's the same here. It's just one person training in the gym, and then you go, you know, and you go to these meets, and then the community comes together, and it just starts from the bottom up. You know, it's small to large, and it has like this butterfly effect. So I think it's important that these events happen because. It's not, you know, you see there's El Paso Strong t-shirts being shown here. You know, I think there's a tighter sense of community this year because I've been to past events. Yeah. And I think it's important to also spread the word about health. And it's not only about how you look, which is great. Bodybuilders, bikini competitors, they go through some tough stuff. But karate, powerlifting, how you feel. healthy food, how you feel. That's awesome. And I think that's what's most important. That is so awesome, Amber. Good luck today. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Next on Studio 9, we talk CrossFit and the popularity of the sport, and we take you inside the competitions here at LiveFit El Paso. KTSM 9 News welcomes the Trans-Siberian Orchestra to the Don Haskins Center Wednesday, December 4. And here is your chance to win tickets before you can buy them. Log on to KTSM.com now and register to win a pair of tickets to this year's show. Welcome to the Edge of Texas. At the Edge of Texas, our steaks are delicately cut. You have to love the outcome of the food. For me, my heart is in it, and I'd like to share it with everyone. We have great margaritas. They are part of the Edge of Texas. The Edge of Texas, for me, is my home. You want a home-cooked meal? You want great service? Come to the Edge of Texas. We'll take great care of you. Injury lawyers, winning clients the most money possible. While driving to Austin, another driver crashed into my car, slamming it into the concrete sidewall. I was injured and my car was totaled. Injured. You need big money. I figured I'd better lawyer up, so I called Wayne Wright. Wayne Wright helps the people. Experience matters. I knew I needed a great lawyer, and Wayne Wright really did the job. Wayne Wright won my case and got me back on the road. Don't wait. Call 8 888 -8888. Respect. Justice. Demand it. The key to your new Tropicana home will open more than just a door. It will open a new chapter in your life for you and your loved ones. Awarded 2018's Real Texas Builder, Volume Builder of the Year, Tropicana Homes provides move-in ready floor plans designed with the Tropicana Homes tradition of quality. Building strong foundations to last generations in nine communities throughout El Paso. Visit TropicanaHomes.com today. It happens. One bad day, a twisted ankle, a broken tooth, pneumonia, or worse, it can happen any day. If and when it happens, it could cost you thousands of dollars in medical costs. Health First has changed all that. Health First provides health care coverage for medical, medical prescriptions, dental and vision if your employer does not, or if you do not qualify for Medicare or Medicaid. Health First can get you covered with the health care you need. Single coverage or family coverage. Do not overpay for health care and do not go without health insurance. Protect your health. Protect your wealth with Health First. One call can get you covered. Call this number. If you are uninsured, underinsured, call Health First now. Safety first. You first. Health First. Experience the Borderlands' best restaurants and businesses at half the price. KTSM's Market 9. Subscribe and check out the exclusive deal of the week at 9 a.m. every Friday at KTSM.com. Just look for the Market 9 banner. Happy half-price shopping from KTSM 9 News. Okay, CrossFit is a 
another component of the event today. Joining me is Ken Lewis. You're a trainer at Get Lifted, but you're also competing today. Now tell me what the competition entails as far as CrossFit here at LiftFit. Well, the competition is a method of testing folks doing uh, movements, uh, power movements, uh, strength, conditioning, uh, endurance, uh, weightlifting, and just overall fitness. So you have a couple of events. You have scaled events yeah. for someone like me, 48 and you know years old. And you just want to be healthy. Yeah, you just want to be healthy. Exactly. And it's, there's no pressure. It's a great community, and everyone loves to just come and cheer everybody on. Tell me why CrossFit has grown so much in popularity. This is one of the biggest events here at LiveFit. Why is it so popular? Well, I think uh, because of the results. Also, just because of the community. I mean, you go to a gym, everybody treats you as if you're you're your own person. There's no judgment whether you're lifting 100 pounds or whether you're lifting five pounds. You're still working hard doing the movements and you're always gonna have that cheer, that support in the community. And uh, that's the great thing about CrossFit. And then you talked about the functionality of it, how it translates. I mean, you're lifting, but it translates, especially as you get older into real life, going up the stairs or you're lifting things, Absolutely. keeping your back healthy, talk about that. Well, you know, one of the things just uh, going shopping and you grabbing your bags. And you always have like two or three bags and there's always one bag on the ground. Well, guess what? You have to squat down, pick that bag up, get it up underneath you. That's a clean, okay? Yeah. So that's functional movement. Or flat tire, you need to push your car, you know, sled pulls, sled pushes. So those are the things that help you get through life. Lifting your suitcase at the airport. Exactly. I know for me, it's exactly. like, I got it. I can do this. Yeah, today we're seeing both uh, amateurs and a little more advanced competition, but it's a lot of fun. Tell me about that. Oh. When I was just competing, all I heard was cheers from the crowd. Uh, that just kind of pushes you and, and gets you more involved, makes you want to go harder, makes you want to go stronger. And then at the end, you know that your team and your family and everybody's there just, just rooting for you. So when you got that type of support, you just don't want to quit. So it takes a lot of conditioning, but it's a lot of fun. And like we said, the biggest portion of the event. Thank you so much, Ken. We appreciate it, and good luck today. Thank you. showcase one of the newest competitions here at LiveFit El Paso. We talk about the growing popularity of youth wrestling and how kids are doing competing in other parts of the state. Look at all that meat. This meat, that meat. Is that more meat? Wait, is that cheap? Nope. Yeah, it's meat. Try large meats or works pizza for just 12 bucks only at Papa John's. The key to your new Tropicana home will open more than just a door. It will open a new chapter in your life for you and your loved ones. Awarded 2018's Real Texas Builder, Volume Builder of the Year, Tropicana Homes provides move-in ready floor plans designed with the Tropicana Homes tradition of quality. Building strong foundations to last generations in nine communities throughout El Paso. Visit TropicanaHomes.com today. Dad, is it gonna happen? I don't know, sweetie. Wait. Let's take a cruise to Nissan of Las Cruces. Yes! <laughs> 2019 Rogue, $22,995 or $318 a month, zero down. 2019 Sentra, $15,995 or $255 per month, zero down. It only takes a cruise to Nissan of Las Cruces. When you're ready to make home happen, we'll be there for you. Imagine the possibilities. I'm Jeff Gannett, CEO of Macy's. Your Macy's store has been given a fresh look, and you are at the heart of it. Because you want more of what you love about Macy's. You want fashion that inspires you. Help finding the perfect look, or the perfect gift. You want an experience that is more fun and more convenient. We're doing it all because Macy's is committed to our customers. 
and we're here to help find the remarkable you. Carnitas Querétaro, traditional Mexican food, serving classic and original dishes using only the freshest ingredients, as close to homemade as you can get. Great atmosphere, better meal. Carnitas Querétaro, buen provecho. Join KTSM 9 News every Tuesday at 5 p.m. and Wednesday at 6 a.m. for EPISD's Education Minutes. Learn how the El Paso Independent School District is establishing clear learning objectives and empowering your children, preparing them for the future. Watch KTSM 9 News every weekend for Studio 9, hosted by El Paso's own Patricia Mayese, the Borderlands only lifestyle show, showcasing the hidden gems and little known spots in our community. Watch Studio 9 Saturdays at 6.30 p.m. Wrestling is huge in El Paso. Uh, we have a huge, we have about 10 youth clubs, and last year I was at the event, it's a great event, and I figured why not wrestling, and so I talked to the organizers, and they put us in, and I can see it's a great turnout. We have over 120 wrestlers competing today. From what ages to what ages? We have them from anywhere from 5 to 16 year old. And a couple of state champions, you were saying. Yes, actually, my son is one of the state champions, and we have another state champion that's going to be, he's a freshman wrestling out of Franklin this year, Adrian Palacio. So for those who don't know a lot about it, why is wrestling such a great sport, especially starting with the kids early and how it translates into just fitness and health? It's an amazing sport because it translates into the classroom and, you know, these guys become, they start at five years old and they stay in it, they become friends and they travel together, and so it's, it's a great activity. And it, it hooks you in. I started a couple years ago, and I'm starting to organize functions here in El Paso. And why is it important to have events like this, even if it's a small one compared to other ones, but to give ch kids a chance to compete and to learn? Great question. So we're uh, isolated in El Paso from the rest of Texas, and we compete with all those guys from Texas. We compete in New Mexico. Uh, so our focus here, myself and Fred, who's the director, uh, the director here, is to uh, get more local tournaments. Get our kids, as you can see, we have a lot of talent all across the yeah. city from the east side, northeast, west side. And we try to get more tournaments so they can go and compete at the different levels, even on the national level. And do you see it growing year to year, like next year, a bigger part of this so, event? So, as I mentioned, so this is big here. We have about 100 plus kids, but local tournaments, we're usually 250 to 300 uh, kids at a tournament. We also, as part of the state, we have everybody from Texas come and compete at one of the tournaments in El Paso. And that tournament, we have about 500 kids wow. we're hoping this year to, to so come join us. So it's a big community. Well, Called good luck effect. to you and Thank your you. kids competing today. Thank you so much, Imad. Thank you so much. week's show of Studio 9. And thank you so much for joining us. I'm Patricia Maia. My crew and I will be back next week at the same time. Stay El Paso strong and have a great weekend.